Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Friday. It is uh, August the 11th, and we're going to pick up in the wonderful and encouraging Word of God. And I do pray that you are encouraged by this. Encouraged sometimes uh, just in the goodness of God. Sometimes encouraged um, to do better. Sometimes encouraged to fight the good fight. Uh, I pray that you're encouraged in your faith. I pray that um, that every single time that we embark and we come to here like me uh, spending my time before making these videos i'm encouraged by god's word I'm encouraged that god loves me so much and he's so patient and tender-hearted and compassionate toward me that he's slow to anger and uh and that um that he will though correct me that he will he will rebuke me uh in his love and his grace and his mercy and so i'm thankful for that and i pray that you're encouraged as i am because He's been dealing with the multitudes, and they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't believe on him. They wouldn't trust him. But now, he's been explaining these things to the disciples, and the disciples are getting some things. They, they've come to some knowledge, obviously, because he's explaining to them, and he said, you're, you're, it's been given to you to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to them it is not. And I've given them parables, and they still don't understand. And uh, they think they know everything, but they actually don't know anything. They're, they're missing it. And, uh, and we can look around the world, and we can certainly see that. But we can also look around at those in faith and see that there's sometimes when we're not walking according to the faith that's been given to us either. And he's going to deal now with the disciples, if you remember. But without a parable, spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And so he, he's given them the clues and he's given them the secrets. And, uh, and, and then they've come to that, that realization. But then notice what happens here in verse 35 and the following. And the same day, when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. Now listen, if Christ says that you're going to pass over to the other side, you're going to pass over to the other side. It, Regardless of what may come in the path of you going to the other side, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, you're going to make it. Well, here's the reality. He says, you're going to make it. You're going to make it into my kingdom. You're going to make it to eternal life. And I am going to carry you through. I'm going to be faithful to you all the days of your life. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, let your requests be known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. He's the answer. He's, he is walking in this life with you because he lives in you by the power of his spirit and so when he says let's go to the other side we're going to the other side and then notice what verse 36 says and when they had sent away the multitude they took him even as he was in the ship and there were also others with him and other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full remember be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. Let your request be known unto God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds. As we go through this journey of life, we are going to get caught up in storms of wind. And waves are going to beat on our ships. And it may even put a little water in the ship so that it may seem like you're going to sink. But look at Jesus here in the scriptures. Verse 38. And he was in the back part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. <laughs> and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And there he was, in the middle of the same storm, in the middle of the same wind, experiencing the same waves. And yet he was asleep in the boat. And the Bible says, on a pillow. The Bible says that he maketh me to lie down in sweet sleep. And that's because we have the peace of God knowing that no matter what's in our lives, no matter what storm we're facing, no matter what waves, no matter what it may look like, Christ is called to give us peace. He's come to give us peace. And here's what it says. And they awaken him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? So they awake him from his sweet slumber. He gets up, knows what the Bible says here, and he arose. And he rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He is the controller. 
of all things. So look what he says, verse 40. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? How much faith do we have in Christ that he's going to see us through to the other side? That no matter what wind, no matter what wave, no matter what storm, no matter how um, detrimental it may seem to us in the moment, that Christ is the Lord and that he's with us and he's going to take care of us and we're going to make it to the other side. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. How is it that you have no faith? Yeah, I, you're, you're following me. You're, you're, you're seeing what I'm doing and, and you're hearing me speak and, 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 and you're, you're, you're catching some of this. And I know you are, but man, how is it that you have no faith that when I say that I'm going to take you to the other side, I'm going to take you to the other side. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And there's where we get caught up. Jesus is not just a man. He is the God-man. He is the God who created the heavens and the earth. And he can do anything that he wants to do at any time uh, that he feels necessary to do that. But he's promised that he's going to see us through to the other side. And sometimes it, you say, well, why would he allow us to go through that storm? Because he's testing our faith. Do we have faith? Do we believe him? And so, what manner of man is this? Who is Christ to you? Who is Christ to me? And I'm praying, Lord, there are a lot of times in my life where I'm not even going through a storm that looks like I'm going to sink. And I'm fearful. And I'm worried. And I'm doubtful. Forgive me, Lord. I believe. But help my unbelief. Because I need you, Lord, to remind me that you are the God-man. And that you've got me safely in your hands. And no one can pluck me out. And I'm going to make it to the other side. And so I pray this encourages you to hold on to Christ and believe him for what he has said. And trust him even when you're in the storm. So go forth today mildly in the name of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And be encouraged.